So 2022 Mercedes, uh, I can't remember what model this is, but I'll get that when I get around. Look at these filters that look like house filters. That came out of this filter right here. This is for your cabin filter. Check this out. And then that must be your, so this must be your equivalent of your Merv 13 or 16. And this must there be their pre-filter. That's probably about a Merv 8, Merv 8 to 11. So, I mean, look at the size of this mother. Do they give you a size? Okay, so my arm, I'm gonna say that's 26 inches to 24 inches long, and my arm 18 inches high. That is my guesstimate right there by using my arm, because I just know how long my arm is. All right, so let's put that back. Okay. And then let's put this back. Holy shit, this thing is, hey, this thing has carbon in it. This is heavy. This is not just a, oh yeah, there it is. There's the dark stuff. This is carbon, not in, just impregnated. This thing is literally carbon loaded. Holy moly. I can imagine the price of this. This will make a, this will make a courier train or Lennox filter look cheap. But that's the filtering for this electric car. This is electric Mercedes. And, uh, okay. So I'm gonna give you a, just a little tour of this, looking around. Look at the size of those heat sinks for the headlights. These are for headlights right there. See the size of those big old aluminum heat sinks? That's for those headlights. Heat sinks, everything's about thermal management nowadays, especially on these high output electric cars. There's another heat sink way the hell down, another heat sink. There is a plate heat exchanger. I don't know if I could zoom in on it and let you guys see it, but it's way down there. Let me shut this thing. I got to shut this thing. Sorry, guys. But so that's for your nuclear fallout filtering in case when we have a uh, god dang uh, chemical warfare. Uh, check this receiver dryer out. Look at how long this is. This is your dryer. That's your destiny. Look at this sucker. You see how long this sucker is? Let's see if I could get my arm. I put my arm where it is here, all the way back. To my shoulder and it comes through right to there so i'm gonna say that thing's about 32 to 34 inches long b-a-l okay so that is definitely uh that's that uh, french company that makes air conditioning products they did ford too um water pump right here we got a water pump here's from the air conditioning so we got a water pump right here, crash sensors, not sure, AMG, Continental, not sure with that, but if it's Mercedes AMG, uh, that's a couple thousand dollars, whatever it is, and it's not brakes. This is probably something for crashing, and uh, I could tell you the dollar sign on this thing is uh, probably as much as most used little cars. Then we have another water pump over here. Look at the massive size of those aluminum heat sinks up there. That's on the headlight too, underneath. So we're definitely sinking a lot of thermal energy away from these digital lights. Yeah, those digital lasers. So, four Matic. So this is their all-wheel all dry EQS. AMG package. Uh, most of you guys who live in the country of the United States where most houses are under $200,000. This is the price of a house right here or, or two houses in some areas. Okay. Yep. This is uh, I want to get, I want to break into one of these things when it's in an accident. I want to look at the, the air conditioning up close. This is underneath. There was a panel, and this is too clean to be open. This is all covered under plastic. You can see the paneling is missing. Everything is pretty, look at the side. Can you imagine the price of all this stuff? It's on air suspension. That's uh, looks like the charger coming up from, uh, when you plug in right here. All right guys, hopefully uh, we'll get another one of these in here that is smashed a little more. 
so I could take apart all the panels and everything like that. And we can go over the makeup of the air conditioning on one of these, but we could see the expense of where this is going with the heat pump on it. All right, see you guys later. I thought you'd be interested in this one.